I'm your host, Katie Bavoso from The Channel Company. The cloud is often the platform of choice or at least the hottest topic when discussing modern storage solutions. Due to the creation of new technologies and remote access needs, the cloud storage market is growing at a compound annual growth rate of nearly 22% and is expected to reach a value of $222.25 billion by 2027. NetApp and Google have the cloud solutions to meet your customers' growing needs. Today, I'm joined by Jeff Tudor, Senior Director of Hyperscaler Cloud Solutions at NetApp, and Sean Darrington, Senior Product Manager of Google Cloud at Google. Welcome, gentlemen. We're going to begin with our first segment, file storage in the cloud. Let's first address the different types of cloud storage, block, object, and file. Sean, why is file storage so important and who or what in particular is using it and why? Yeah, hi, Katie. Thanks for having me. It's great to be here. Um, yeah, file storage is actually one of the things that, you know, everybody's used to on premises and it's been around for decades, right? And uh, the difference is that between file and block storage, which many people are familiar with, object storage is kind of the new thing that grew up in the cloud initially. And certainly there are solutions that uh, we have object storage for on premises, but for most applications, they can't access an object protocol to do what they need to do to run the business. And so most applications actually rely on a file system, SMB or NFS, the unstructured data, all the home directories that we use uh, on a daily basis, uh, but also a lot of applications that need a file system and block storage like SAP. So when you're looking at like why the cloud, it's really about how companies are reimagining and re-architecting some of the applications to become more, more efficient themselves. And it might be more efficient just to run it in your own data center, and that's perfectly fine. But a lot of organizations are embarking on a cloud-based journey, and that means thinking about things differently, how I've done it on premises, how I'm going to do it in the cloud. And the more we can make it easy for people to move into the cloud, like with file storage and have it be completely transparent to the applications, the easier it is for them to adopt it. So Jeff, going off of what Sean said, it's legacy, file is still something so heavily used, but what challenges do these businesses face when storing so much data in file? Well, first, Katie, thanks so much for, uh, for asking me to be here today and very pleased to work with my colleague, Sean. When you look at file, it's been around for many years. In fact, about 27 years ago, NetApp started out bringing uh, external file storage into the data center. So we were there at the very beginning when, you know, basically there's so much file storage that was growing beyond just the capacity that was inside of the server. They needed a separate landing zone for that. And so we created network attached storage so that you could have your file storage in a, in a separate place. And then we created all this technology, just as snapshots and encryption and things like that that would go onto it. Uh, but when a customer looks at how they migrate the bulk of their data in the cloud, first of all, about 80% of the data in a data center is a file based, um, uh, is a file. So there's two major kinds of um, protocols that they're going to need. One is the Windows or SMB protocol. The second is a Linux or NFS protocol. Um, so they're going to need to make sure they have the right protocols that their applications will expect when they move to the cloud. Uh, and that's something NetApp has a lot of experience with. Uh, second, the, the thing they're going to need to make sure it can um, have the data protection that it needs. So things like instant snapshots that you can recover from accidental deletions or, God forbid, crypto viruses and these types of things. So there's a lot of things beyond just the protocol that will make an enterprise file storage successful for the workload. Sean, back over to you. How does Google help these businesses who house their data on-prem and in file storage? And what does NetApp bring to the table to make this happen? Yeah, it's a great question, Katie, because you know, as you just heard Jeff mention, you know, NetApp has been around for 27 years and they have tens of thousands of customers that are using their solution on-premises and have satisfied a lot of those requirements that we've been speaking about already. But now we've actually been able to partner together over the last few years and bring that same experience from on-premises into Google Cloud. Uh, so now customers can transition applications as they need to um, into the cloud with two different offerings that we have with NetApp, with Cloud Volume Service, which is a, a managed storage service. So it has a file system protocols that Jeff just mentioned, SMB and NFS, but customers now don't have to manage it. They just choose how much storage they need uh, and where they want it. 
there's also cloud volumes on tap, which is where customers can manage their own environment. And it has all the same bells and whistles, if you will, of what they're used to managing on premises. But now it's a very seamless experience of on prem and migrating to the cloud, or actually just doing a combination of both and keeping a hybrid model. And so we've actually been working together very closely to make that easy for customers to move into the cloud and make that transition so that when companies are ready to modernize their applications, they can do so, or if they want to lift and optimize, they can do that as well. So it can it can lead to a lot of flexibility for partners to work with customers on where they are with their applications. Um, like for example, running SAP uh, in, in Google Cloud, doesn't require a lot of changes from a customer's perspective other than consuming it in the cloud. And that requires block and file. And, and there are lots of technologies that make it very seamless to do from that on-prem into the cloud deployment. Let's continue on this topic of NetApp and Google working together in our second segment, the NetApp Google Partnership. So Sean, you've also got question one here. Google is a household name for many, many reasons. It has thousands of engineers and resources. So why does Google choose to partner with NetApp? Yeah, it's a great question, Kate, because you know one of the things that Google does is we have a portfolio of products, obviously, from our AI and ML uh, work capabilities that we're very well known for, our infrastructure as a service, our platforms as a, as a service, that gives companies the flexibility to run applications in either Google compute environment or in their Kubernetes environment. Um, but one of the things that we do also have a, a perspective of is an open ecosystem is that Google can't satisfy all of our customer requirements. And so that's where we look to NetApp, one of the leading providers of on-premises storage for the last 27 years, as we mentioned in the first segment. We wanna leverage that experience with Google and NetApp to deliver more value to customers based upon the applications they need, where they are in that application migration journey of doing a hybrid or a full cloud migration. So let's actually bring this into some real world examples. Jeff, can you give me an example or use case of what Sean and I just talked about? Yeah, we have, um, you know, one of the things that we're very aligned with Google on is Windows File Share because for this SMB protocol that we discussed, um, we are Google's partner for delivering that. And you know, it sounds kind of like, oh, it's a protocol. Well, if you have customers with petabytes of data, chances are a lot of them will have Windows file shares in that. And that's things such as, you know, restricting access for file permissions to particular active directory groups. That's very key to InfoSec and security. A media company that has using NetApp storage inside of Google Cloud uh, to develop real time um, media for distribution and multi-channel world, whether it's in social media, uh, digital and print. And so they're using uh, virtual Windows virtual desktops hosted inside of Google Cloud connecting to NetApp storage. And they have public, they have their creators and editors from around the world that are coming into the um, into the cloud to, to do their to do the journalism since they can't get together in offices. Uh, so that was a great one that uh, was you know from one end of the spectrum in the media and entertainment space. Uh, but we also have others in, in the media and entertainment space like music publishing uh, to big retail retail providers that are looking to migrate their entire operations and are using us with um, VMware. Uh, so, yeah, there's a lot of different type of use cases around it, um, but we've worked very productively and proactively with our partners. Jeff, Sean, thank you both so much for your time today. And thank you at home for watching and listening. Once again, I'm Katie Bavoso, and I'll see you next time.